Is this a decluttering mistake that you're making? You might have not be making this mistake, but we're going to get into why this is not good, but what the incredible thing you can do instead to get that home decluttered for good. Minimalist homies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Robin and I am here to help you simplify life and fix that clutter problem. Now grab your tea and let's go. So many people tell me that they have been trying to declutter for months years, in some cases, decades. Maybe you're trying the usual things like planning, getting your boxes ready, or this. The dreaded to-do list. It seems innocent enough. And of course, we're going to write things down. We've got to get them done, right? <laughs> I mean, my house is full of people with ADHD. If we don't write things down and make to-do lists, we will forget everything. But there's a problem with to-do lists. Ugh, I don't feel like doing that. Ugh. What a failure. We will lose motivation because interest is hard to maintain, or we get overwhelmed and then we feel bad about ourselves. And why is that? Because to-do lists often focus on what need to be done, but maybe don't include those motivational elements that are so important. Research actually suggests that involving more motivation factors can make it so much easier to get things done and get more things done in general. And guess what? I have the perfect antidote to this list. It's this. I'm like a little kid with stickers. I don't know about you, but when I was in kindergarten, we used to get stickers for everything. And I started tracking my workouts using stickers years ago. And honestly, like this is an absolute stack. This is just from this last year. And I mean, some months are pretty good. Like July, not bad. Um, some months weren't so great. September, bit of a busy month. But what's great is when I look at this list, I feel like, hey, I did something, I got something done, and it feels really, really good. It also motivates me to do more. So I thought, could I use this system for more than just workouts? And how could I do this and more specifically with decluttering? Because the thing is, when we're decluttering, we can get really down on ourselves when we're not hitting those goals. Enter the shining star list. This is for your wins and Linda, there will be plenty of wins. I started writing my wins down and the things that I accomplished, I wrote everything I did down from uh, make new hot chocolate mix for my husband because that man loves this hot chocolate mix to I tidied the laundry space. And some days I got a lot done, like I decluttered the junk drawer. Other days I was happy to just write down that I made my bed and it feels great all because of the dopamine reward system. So dopamine is a neurotransmitter associated with pleasure and reward. And some research actually suggests that the brain's reward system plays a huge role in maintaining interest in activities, which I think makes a lot of sense. And it is so easy to start. I want you to grab a piece of paper and just start writing your list out. I even have something special that you can use and I will tell you about that in a second. But just start writing down any wins from your day or your life at all. I even put down that I am a mom to three great boys. I put down that I decluttered the garage when I brushed the cat. Honestly, it just feels so good to write that down. And for me, this was so hard at first. And you might be like, yeah, this does feel a little weird. And I want to tell you why. In our culture, we learn that the cultural and societal norms for us really want us to be more humble and modest. And the research even suggests that maybe people might hesitate to start writing their accomplishments down or share them for fear of judgment or violating these societal norms. People may be seeing them as arrogant. What I learned was that the more I wrote, the more I wanted to add. It felt so incredible to add to this list. I felt like I was actually starting to win at life and like do stuff. It was an ongoing list of my accomplishments. And here's how I use this list for an even more amazing result. Since I and three of our household members have ADHD, we still 
need to know what to do. Otherwise, we will literally just sit around watching Back to the Future. So I use the amazing star list with my to-do list. I use them together. But this to-do list is a little bit different. It simply is a list where I write anything that I want to get done. From fun to not fun, I just write down anything I can think of. And when I have spare time, I just look at the list and decide what to do. And a lot of people who have ADHD, they say to me, I can't use planners, I can't use lists, and I know it can be hard and truly to each their own. What works for me is I often, like I have this to-do list, but usually I use my planner and I will carry my planner with me around the house. It's usually just in a general area. It doesn't usually leave the house. If I think of something when I'm out, I email it to myself. And so here's how I use my list, my planner with the shiny star list. Sometimes I will make my family a list of things to do when I'm out or whatever, if there's just a lot of, a lot to get done. And I think like they probably are like, that's great. I'm checking things off the list because it's like a small list and I'm giving it to them. And I thought like, I don't get that same satisfaction without like putting it down. So what I can do is with my planner, I will plunk things down in my planner. And I love this hemlock and oak planner. It is absolutely beautiful. And I will link that below. What's great though, it's no pressure because because the satisfaction is in the star list. And I also even created a sticker sheet for you guys, because if you're like me, you're going to want to put stickers on things that you weren't exactly excited to do. So say you were like, I'm going to finally get that garage decluttered. And you were like, I'm going to go out uh, six days in a row. And you just go like, boop, one sticker there, 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 there. Check it off your list, your to-do list, write it on your star list. The whole thing is just like a great system to make you feel good, like designed to make you feel good. And I made it so you can download your own copies for free. Just head over to minimalisthome.ca slash star so that you can just start popping random things down on your planner, cross them off, add them to your star list, give yourself a stick or two, or like instead of your planner, just in the to-do list like I have right here. It feels so good. So basically star list plus to-do equals happy. And if you add the sticker sheet in, it's even better. Honestly, start with anything from I picked up a piece of garbage to I high-fived my grandson and you will be absolutely golden. And I know that sometimes overcoming procrastination can be a real struggle. So in addition to the star list, check out this video here from Cats from Clutterbug and me. We go over lots of great tips. I hope something great happens for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.